Cardinal Mueller. He <laughs> says the German synodal way is over. This is one of the good cardinals, <laughs> exactly. one of the great cardinals of our time. Yes. Cardinal Gerhard Ludwig Mueller, prefect emeritus of the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith. He should still be there. Yes, he should. Has sharply criticized the synodal way in Germany. He was on EWTN, a news interview. The 74-year-old cardinal said that the synodal way declared a reform process by its initiators, he said, <laughs> is over and was and was on an anti-Catholic wrong track. Wow. The Holy See issued a statement June 21st noting that the synodal way was not authorized to oblige the bishops and the faithful to adopt new forms of governance and new orientations of doctrine and morals. The Holy See said that it was necessary to clarify this in order to safeguard the freedom of the people of God and the exercise of the Episcopal ministry. Well, you know what the Holy See should have done? They should have just excommunicated uh, uh, Cardinal uh, Marx, yes. Reinhard Marx. That's what they should have done. That They would have nipped it in the bud if they would have just done that. Yes, he can I just jump in? He's a troublemaker. Yeah, but Marx, was, he put his, uh, Marx is the one who put his retirement paperwork into Pope Francis's hand and Pope Francis rejected it and said, no, I still want you there. You see, it's like two sides of the mouth. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm just being objective, Jess. Continue. Yeah, Cardinal Reinhard Marx. By the way, he's uh, he's the one that started the, the sanitary in Germany. That's right. That's right. He's also, he's also uh, in, in times past, he celebrated Mass at the cathedral with the rainbow flag draped be over the altar. So if you want to know Where he's a, little about, if you, a little bit about his character... That's who Reinhard Marx is. So the, um, the synodal presidium consisting of the German Bishops' Conference and the Central Committee of German Catholics then accused the Vatican of a lack of willingness to communicate. <laughs> it stated, so they pushed back against the Vatican. Here's what the leftist German yeah. <laughs> bishops and lay people said, quote, uh -huh. Unfortunately, the synodal presidium has not been invited to a conversation until today. In other words, in other words, the Vatican, the Vatican hasn't tried to talk to us. That this direct communication does not take place so far, we regret irritated. Synodal church goes after our under, understanding differently. This also applies to the way of today's communication, which astonishes us. Hmm. It does not testify to a good style of communication within the church when statements are published that are not signed by name. So they're calling out the Vatican. And they say, should hey. on that. You know what, Jesse? When you put an order out, Man. you should put your name on it. The last, That's this true. next sentence, said, just, this is really good. Go ahead, Jess. Cardinal Mueller called these statements intolerable and added that this really has nothing to do with syn synodality and collegiality, nor with respect for, nor, nor with respect for the Episcopal office. He said, Cardinal Mueller said, the Holy See statement expressed nothing but the simple principle of Catholic ecclesiology. You nailed it. Yeah. So when asked whether the Synodal Way in Germany was now at an end after the declaration from Rome, <laughs> a canon lawyer from Munster, Germany, Thomas Schuler, yeah. wrote on Twitter, said this. Cardinal Mueller replied, I think the Synodal Way was doomed from the start. Mm -hmm. It's just that its initiators haven't realized it yet. I love that line. Cardinal Mueller said the synodal way in Germany has nothing to do with synodality <laughs> nor with way. Rather, the construct is reminiscent of a political organization that considers itself the vanguard of the universal church. And then, Jesse, the cardinal nails it when he says revelation is entrusted to the church for faithful preservation and not in a synodal way meant at the beginning that the virtual randomly assembled body somehow has the right and authority to override the church's sacramental constitutions. And I like this, reinterpret revelation according to its means. Continue, Jess. It was the birth defect of the body to set itself up as the vanguard of the church, yeah. uh, Cardinal Mueller said. Exactly. What is being pursued here is nothing other than division. Yep. It is a so-called reform with a crowbar. <laughs> I like that. This is my kind of guy, Jesse. Yeah. You know, yeah. Jesse, he, just to he interrupt. blue-collar blue language. I met him in Mundelein Seminary about four years ago when he was mm -hmm. the prefect. And I went up to him and I said, Cardinal Mueller, thank you so much for what you do in keeping the heretics out of the uh, chicken coop. And he, he laughed. Continue, Jess. He says... What, uh, among the supporters of Synodal Way, there was an intransigence, the Cardinal mm -hmm. said, resulting from a lack of knowledge of Catholic ecclesiology. Yep. Cardinal Mueller reflected on the president of the German Bishops' Conference and Central Committee of the German Catholics, 
who had emphasized in an article for the Hamburg Weekly Die Zeit, that's a German uh, mm-hmm. newspaper, that it should be ensured that the, that the medical intervention of an abortion is made possible across the can, board. Can you repeat that? That's their position as a Catholic? Give me a break. German bishops and the Committee of German Catholics, their official position is, quote, that that mm-hmm. it, they, they that it should be ensured that medical intervention of an abortion is made possible across the board in Germany. Unbelievable. That's the, that's the that's German their position. position. Yeah. Cardinal Mueller said whoever wants to guarantee these crimes area wide for the entire population cannot pose as a reformer of the church. Amen. After all, the church is not the object of our reform. <laughs> the church is founded by Christ cannot be reformed as in, is insurpassable. Only we can go the only we can go the way and must go the way of repentance and renewal. We must reform and renew ourselves in Jesus Christ and thus give the answers the answer to the challenges of today. Jesse, Thank you, Cardinal Mueller. Jesse, that Very last difference between him yeah, and Reinhard Marx. Of course, but that last statement, after all, he says that the church is not an object of the reform. And I love what he says. It's traditional Catholic teachings. The church is founded by Jesus Christ. It cannot be reformed. It's unsurpassable. Only we can go the way and must go the way of repentance. Yeah, let's hear repentance and what? Renewal? Yeah, he added. We must reform and renew ourselves, who? Into Jesus Christ, not the world, and thus give the answer to the challenges of today. This is what's so frustrating, if you hear it in my voice, Jesse, is that we have an opportunity to give the world Jesus Christ, and what is going on is the world's giving us the answers. We have the answers. The world does not have the answers. Yeah, Terry, this guy's a bad hombre, uh, Cardinal uh, Cardinal Reinhard Marx. I could tell you a little bit things about him. He's one of the C6. He's one of the advisors to the Pope, one of the six cardinal advisors to him. Yeah. He's admittedly, he's a progressive member of the church. Yep. He advocates for a married priesthood. Yeah. And he, he did that in the Amazon Synod. He also advocated for a married priesthood in the Synod for the family. He's also supported homosexual unions. Uh, he's Again, he celebrated mass with rainbow flags draped on the altar. Uh, I'll tell you what I see the synodal way in Germany, what they're really trying to do. And LifeSite okay. News, they wrote an article on this. Yep. LifeSite News says the article is called Synodal Way Wants to Reverse Catholic Teaching on Homosexuality. Yep. So, I mean, LifeSite News has a, a, a well-documented article. Yeah, That's their goal. Yep. The synodal way they want to bring homosexuality and probably contraception, too. Yeah. They want to make it normal, licit, legal in the Catholic Church. And by the way, Terry, all these problems of the synodal way, they were they, they, they were started by the ringleader of the Synodal Way is Cardinal Reinhard Marx. And as I said before, he should have retired. Pope Francis could have taken his retirement papers and put him to bed. But, you know, there's an old saying from Don Bosco, Jesse, and this is going to be a hard saying to hear. Show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are. The friends of Pope Francis that are people in positions of power, whether it's James Martin or others, they're his friends. And they have teachings that are contrary to the church. And that's why I know I'm on a on a rage here, Jess, but I really feel that the need needs to be done. The uh, dubia from back in 15, you know, seven years ago, P- the Cardinals asked the Holy Father to clarify his teaching on the faith. So th- he's not coming out and saying anything on it. He won't respond. And I'm saying that as a lay Catholic, I'm asking the bishops, cardinals, and even the Pope to reaffirm and confirm me in my faith by stating the uh, traditional teachings of the church. And please, Holy Father, don't bring these dissenters. You heard what St. John Paul II said earlier in the show about dissent. That's who you've got in the Vatican. They're a bunch of dissenters. So mm-hmm. in, generous, in, in, my, in my loving uh, heart, I say to Pope Francis, you're in a position to stop it. Would you please stop it? Yeah, Terry, th- there's no synodality without fidelity to the church's doctrine. That's right. And they're trying to ru- they're trying to run roughshod over the church's doctrine and change it. So what what is a synod? A synod is a council of a church usually convened to decide an issue regarding doctrine, administration or application. In the Catholic Church, what a synod is, it's a meeting of bishops who are governed by the Code of Canon Law, which was updated back in 1983. Yep. And they meet when requested by the Pope 
It can help the Pope to govern and make decisions that will help in the salvation of souls. That's the goal. Uh, And being the Catholic Church founded by Christ, a synod cannot change doctrine. Synods are, uh, uh, they may be a tool, but some people have argued, uh, some people have argued, in fact, I saw uh, there's an article, it's called Remnant Disciple uh, disciples jtm.com mm-hmm. remnant disciples jtm.com here's uh, something that's very interesting i just looked up here mm-hmm. it says synods are a sp- are, are a tool specifically chosen by freemasons to help destroy the church the wicked plan is outlined and translated by father joseph dwight in september 2013 from an italian translation outlines two directives about synods these directives of the Grand Master, the Mas- of the Masons, of the Catholic bishops, have been in effect since 1962. They were revised in 1993 as a progressive plan for the final stage. So this Father Joseph Dwight, who has taken this Masonic document <coughs> and translated it from it from Italian to English, it's 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 uh, number 23. Uh, the Masonic document to weaken the Church. It says, "Be bold." Yep. Weaken the Pope by introducing Episcopal synods. Mm. The Pope will then, will then only become a figurehead, as in England, where the high chamber and the low chamber reign, and from them the Queen receives orders. Then weaken the authority of the bishop, giving rise to a concurrent institution at the level of the priests. Say that in this way the priests receive the attention they deserve. Wow. Finally, weaken the authority of the priests with the formation of groups of lay people who dominate the priests. In this way, you will give rise to such a hatred that even cardinals will abandon the church, and then the church will be democratic. It will be a new church. Wow. Interesting. And not just interesting. It's, it's, uh, it's being implemented, yes, unfortunately. It 